didn't do much. Like I said, I'm only going out two times a month because I couldn't handle the rest of it, guys. And it's got to be like every other week. I can't even do two more, two back-to-back because there's always something that happens in those two back-to-backs. What do you mean something that happens? Something unexpected. Like the last time it was I booked that fucking show on Monday morning. I got to leave on Thursday. That's one day I lose. I already lose two days. Right, okay. So, and I'm not complaining for being busy. Thank God, you know, we're here and we're, everybody's healthy and we're working and we've worked hard towards what's coming in, so I'm not complaining. It's weird. You're in two completely different industries. Stand-up gets booked a year in advance and acting gets booked a week in advance. Acting or a day in advance. Two days in advance. <laughs> These fucking animals. You know, there used to be a time when they would give you space with everything. They don't do dick no more. They don't do dick no more. They give out offers, and then whatever's not offered out, they book out in-house, or they know you, or they make you come in, and it always shoots in two days, or it shoots in six months. Those are not that good either. They will have to Those wait six not, months? Like, I booked Spider-Man 2 in March. Okay. And they told me July 31st. That seems great. Yeah, that seems great on paper, but for four months, you're like, maybe they'll fucking rewrite my character. <laughs> Maybe they'll find out I smoke pot on Periscope. Maybe they'll do this. Maybe they'll do that. And then they don't do dick. And then you get the roll. Like, I shot a month earlier in July 31st. Okay. But still, that sucks, too. Well, I, I, it doesn't matter which director did it because it's happened in every movie. But I was reading a story today about someone getting cut out of a movie. And they were just saying it wasn't their performance. It was just it didn't make sense with the story. Have you ever had that happen? Like, cut out or something? When I shot basketball, I had never done a feature film. I had done, this is all I had done, people. I did a, a, a college film for a girl named Kessler. She's still around. She lives in Burbank. And I did nothing. The, 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 the pilot for CBS. I, I shot a few industrials in Seattle for AT&T. As a guy that just carries boxes in the background while the guy's giving orders. <laughs> well, they're teaching the, their new yeah, employees yeah, about sexual harassment or something? Yeah, like that type of shit. But I had never acted in front of a camera before. So when I did basketball, it was such a disaster. Really? Yeah. For me, how bad I felt afterward, I didn't know anything. Like, guys, think of you in your regular day jobs. Yeah, you're a fan of fucking movies. I get it. We're all a fan of film. <laughs> But he is the two hottest guys at the time. You know, uh, Trey, Trey Parker, Parker and Matt Stone. The, the, the fucking, the, 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 you know, that show was a year in. It was 1998. South Park. Or 1997. Right, yeah, right These around that time. These guys were the fucking kings of Hollywood. And here I am with one line in one of their movies. And the budget was huge because they kept me there for three weeks. So I didn't know what day I was going to shoot. But the night I went out and got hammered, did two eight balls and drank red wine. That's the morning they called me to shoot my scene first. Uh. Now, they have different names for things. Like when in your occupation at home, you have different names for things in your jobs. I don't know what those names are or different expressions of that it means something. So when they would say, step on your mark, I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. Like, I thought I was in the race. <laughs> like, step on your mark. Like, Get that go? Like, like that's what like, I knew action from watching other movies and right. shit. and cut. But they're like, everybody quiet down. There's like three steps before action. I didn't know what the fuck they were. So to make a long story short, when I shot that scene, when I walked out of there after robbing all the roller skates and fucking showing up for the scene, I didn't know where I was. I thought they were going to cut that right off the fucking bat. I shot that like in April. And like in August, I got a call going, how do you want your name spelt? And I'm like, for what? And they're like, for the fucking end of the movie, the credits. I go, did I make Did I make it? And they're like, you made it. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, you made it. Fuck and I didn't go to the premiere. And I didn't go to the screening. You know me, Doug. I wasn't going to go watch myself in front of these people. I made a fool in front of myself in front of these people. They must have liked it if they kept it. Well, they kept it. I don't know if they liked it or not, but... And after that, I, I, I never really, like in the longest shot, I shot a bunch of scenes. <clears throat> but I knew as I was shooting them that it was just Adam spending money. It was just Adam filling time. 
Really? That was probably like the two last weeks that I shot in the longest yard. I knew all those scenes were going away. No. They just kept me there to break my balls. They were terrible scenes. But they paid you? But they yeah, would pay they you? they paid me. Yeah, yeah. What do I give a fuck? Yeah, fuck it. That sounds great. That's weird. Yeah, so you're always in shock. Like, I'm always in shock when I don't make the cut. You know what I'm saying? What? Are you trying to pass me that? I, don't, I can't sure, tell. Sure, sure. Always. What am I? What do I got? The fucking measles or anything like that? <laughs> What the fuck are you giggling about? Nobody- <laughs> Why did you like him? What did he, he did an error. I knew a second ago, but no. <laughs> keep, just keep going went from where you told it. Cause then- okay. <laughs> you know that little forehead you got? 